Elastic deformable objects are widespread in our daily life. Unfortunately, it is hard to fabricate a desired shape as elastic objects always deform under gravity or external forces. Using our inverse design method, we compute a rest shape for fabrication. The fabricated object can deform into the desired shape under specified forces. The input to our method is the desired target shape x and the external force g to realize it. We compute a rest shape x which satisfies the inverse stack equilibrium equation. The equation here is highly nonlinear and hard to solve. Our strategy is to add an extra variable lambda into the equation and solve for x and lambda together using a numerical continuation method. We start from the target shape and set lambda equal to 0, and trace the solution branch by increasing lambda until lambda equals 1 to get the rest shape. At each point, we use an asymptotic polynomial expansion to locally represent the solution branch. Using the asymptotic expansion, we trace the solution branch as far as possible until the convergence radius is reached. We repeat this process until we obtain the desired rest shape. Our solver is highly efficient. It usually runs two to three orders of magnitude faster than a traditional Newton type solver. Our system starts by loading a desired target shape. The user can constrain certain parts of the shape or apply external forces. Our system computes the resulting rest shape in a few seconds and presents it to the user. The computed shape will deform into the target shape. After finding the rest shape, the user can interactively adjust the external forces to explore nearby solutions. The user can also specify multiple deformed shapes of an object together with the external forces needed to realize them. Our method solves a rest shape for each target individually, then finds a single approximated shape by subspace projection. Finally, the user can use our fast stack equilibrium solver to check the differences between the results and their desired shapes. We fabricated several models designed by our system to validate the method. The first one is a simple bar. We require the bar model to be horizontal under the force of gravity. We also designed plants that deform to visually pleasing shapes under the force of gravity. This is a phone holder model. We designed forces at two sides of the fish's mouth so it can open and hold the input phone tightly. This is a clothes hanger model. When no force is applied, it appears as a peaceful face. When hanging a cloth, it will show a crying face. The dinosaur model has four different target shapes under different force settings, and our fabricated object can achieve these targets very closely. 